Good morning, everyone. This is Valerie coming to you from Arizona Science Center for our early learning session. And today we're going to be talking about force. Do you know what force is? Tell us in the comments if you think you do. We're gonna be doing an activity this morning after we read a story. So we're gonna give everyone a minute to kind of get here. And if you want to get some supplies ready for after our story, all you need is some things that float um, we're going to be using some pool noodle pieces, but that's something you can explore with after our story are things that float. Something straight, like a straw, or you could try even a straightened paper clip or a pencil, and then something to make a sail out of. So it can be anything you want, paper, aluminum foil. Um, we're going to use some foam. So those are some things that your parent can look for while you're listening to the story this morning if you'd like. And we're going to try out the forces that we learn about today after our story. So um, we're gonna get started with the story called And Everyone Shouted, Pull! A First Look at Forces in Motion by Claire Lowellen. And here we have a donkey who's part of our story. He's so cute. Here's our title page. We got a chicken, we got a duck, we got a sheep. So this story is definitely looking like it's gonna take place on a farm, I'm thinking. That's my prediction. You can make a prediction as well. It's market day at Oak Farm. Oh, I was right. The animals are counting out the goods. Three boxes of apples, two trays of eggs, and don't forget the cheese. Mm. But how can they take the goods to market? I can push this. I can pull this, says the dog. I can carry these, mama. And the pig says, oh, no, you can't. I wonder what's gonna happen on the next page. Are they gonna be able to push and pull these to market? The farmer's cart can do the job. Its wheels help to move things easily. What do wheels do, mama? They roll along the ground nice and smoothly, says the mama donkey. I wish I had wheels, said the pig. The cart's wheels can't move by themselves. They need a push or pull to start them turning. Come on, mama, pull, says the donkey. I think we need some help. So we have them pull. And the pig says, don't look at me. He seems a little lazy. I don't think he wants to help. The first few steps are hard work, but then the wheels begin to turn. Come on, push, says the pig. Whew, that was heavy, says the donkey. It takes a big force to move the cart. The cart rolls along quickly now. It won't take long to get to market. Keep up, says the pig. Pulling a cart is easy, says the donkey. Wheels turn well on a hard, smooth road. But when the cart reaches Three Trees Hill, the donkeys begin to slow down. Push everyone, says the pig. Oh, why is the cart so heavy now? We have to pull harder when we're going uphill. You ever notice that things are heavier when you go uphill? I wonder if they're gonna make it, make a prediction. The cart slowly reaches the top of the hill. Then it races down the other side. Help, I can't stop, slow down. The cart is pushing us downhill. Oh no, have you ever lost a cart going down a hill? It does go really fast. Suddenly there's a sharp tug the cart is pulled another way. Hey, why are you taking us down this path? We have to go this way. Look, there's a tree across the road. So if you look in the picture, there's a dirt road that goes off to the side that's different than the smooth hard road they've been driving on. I wonder if that'll make a difference. Big drops of rain begin to fall. The ground turns soft and muddy. We're not moving, mama, says the donkey. Pull harder, darling. The wheels are stuck. Everybody pull. Oh, I wonder if they're gonna be able to get out of this mud. At last, the cart arrives at the market. Oh, I'm too tired to drag the cart back home, says the donkey. The cart will be empty. It will be easier to pull. Oh, it'll be on it, that's for sure. Oh yeah, that pig wants to be on it. He's lazy, he's just gonna ride in the cart. The market is over, it's time to go home. Pull, they all say. Hey, wait for me, says the pig. But the cart isn't empty after all, so the donkeys say, oh no. Is it gonna be heavier for them? I think they're gonna make them pull them all the way home. 
Now, our last page tells us about some of the forces we learned about in the story. Moving a load is hard work. Wheels make it much easier to move things. It takes a force to start things moving, like this push, and a force can be a pull or a push, like this donkey is pulling here. It takes a force to make things change direction. It takes a force to make things stop. Moving uphill takes a bigger force than moving downhill. So those are some of the lessons that we learned in our book today. So for our activity today, we wanted to try this activity of pushing and pulling and exploring forces. But instead of a rolling cart with wheels, we're gonna use some water and some boats and we're gonna see how pushing and pulling work on water. So this is something you could do in a sink or a bathtub, or maybe you have a pool at home and you could explore this on a larger scale. But my friend Cole and I are going to explore our boats that we've made up here and see what we can do with our very small pool that we have up here. So we have started out by making some boats and we've used some pool noodles that we just cut little pieces off of. But again, you can use anything that floats. And we also needed some sails to move our boats because we don't have wheels on the water. We have to use a sail to help us push or pull. So we have a straw that's holding our sail in place, but you could again use a straightened paper clip. You could use a pencil. You can use anything straight you can find. And then you can make your sail out of anything you want. So this first sail is made out of paper, but we also have some made out of foam. And this is just craft foam that we have laying around, but Notice it's a different shape. This one is a rectangle, and this one we made into a triangle. So you could explore some different shape sails to see if one of them works better than the other. This boat that my friend Cole made has two sails on it, so you could try that as an option. And I made this one with two straws, but one sail. So there's lots of variations you can do. This one's made out of aluminum foil. So we'll see how it does when we try to push and pull our boats on the water. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pick two of our boats to get started. Hmm. And let's see, uh, Cole, do you think we should push or pull our boats to get started? You no, know, I think we should push first. Okay, so what should we push with? Well, if we look on our table, we have a few options. Uh, I say we push with these straws. Okay, Ooh, I have a straw over oh, here. Um, I'm gonna take this boat down here perfect. and you can have that boat there because we yes. are practicing safe social distancing. Exactly. We wanna stay far apart, um, but we are gonna see who can get their boat down to the end first by pushing. By pushing, okay, cool, All right. let's do this. Um, we're gonna do a countdown. To be fair, To be course. fair, obviously. So we're gonna go three, two, one, and then go. Okay. All right, are you yeah. ready? Yeah. Three, two, two one. one, go. Oh no. Oh no, oh, Cole's boat fell over. So this is part of the engineering process. If your boat falls over, you might need to re-engineer and find out if there's a different place to put your straw or maybe a different way to do your sail so he doesn't fall over. Mm -hmm. uh, now this was pushing. Um, should we try pulling next? I think we should. I'm All right. Pushing a try. Might as well um, one. I'll let you pick out the boats we're going to try All this All right. Time. I'm going to, you know, you're talking about the one that you built, so mm -hmm. I really want to try this one out. Oh, and awesome. I think you should try the one I made. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm going to try the one you I made? Think, yeah, we can try it on. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's go into this in here. So All in right. order to pull, we have um, made some lassos out of string and yarn that we had here at the Science Center. So if you want to try something else at home, you could try something else to pull, but we're going to work on this to try and pull down to our end. So, so I'm going to go ahead and push here. this one over here. Oh, right. hold on, hold on, hold on. So I'm going to use what they said in the story, which is everyone pull, all right? So we're going to say... Here, how about this? I'll hold on to yours and okay. hold on to there we mine. Go. All right, ready? All right. Everyone pull! Oh. <laughs> Again, engineering can be tricky. If um, you don't succeed at first, just keep on trying. There is always a design that will work. You just gotta kinda work around it every once in a while. And you can see, mostly, this is just having fun with pushing and pulling. <laughs> Have some fun with these forces and just explore and see what works best. 
Um, we have a lot of fun activities like this at azscience.org. Visit our website if you want to try out some more activities that go with some stories as well. You can also see our videos on YouTube and our other social media like Facebook and Instagram. And we want you all to have some fun while you're at home practicing that safe social distancing. So thank you for joining us today. Thank you to my assistant, Cole. Of course. We look forward you. to seeing you next time. Bye.